Hi up YouTube, it's uh, in Amica 4 again with the Samsung Galaxy S2 um, running Android Gingerbread 2.3.6 and what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to give yourself root access to your device on this operating system now if you don't know what root access is, it's just basically yourself giving yourself uh, administrative privileges on the phone so if, it, if you compare it to a PC where you don't have full access to wood to do whatever you want or install whatever you want or uninstall whatever you want um, like an administrator does it's like being a, a, a administrator on the phone itself so you can get rid of those uh, crappy apps that the, sometimes the um, manufacturers install on the devices um, you can pretty much do whatever you want um, so to begin with um, we need to go through what you need for this um, you need obviously Odin 3 version 1.8.85 um, I will put a link in the description where you can download it from you're also going to need a custom ROM which is specific to the firmware version that you've already got on the phone now if, if you watched uh, any of my previous videos um, you will know that I've uh, recently upgraded the firmware to version 2.3.6 in fact I'll just show you what I have so if I go to applications settings and then scroll down to about phone if I just show you there you go you can see the model number and the kernel version that's the number specifically that we installed that's the firmware so 2.3.6 is the android version and the firmware version that we installed specifically is i9100xwkk5 is an important number um, so the custom ROM um, is you need to get the custom ROM which most matches the the version, the firmware version that we've got on. And the important thing to note down here is the anything after the i9100. So we need to make a note of XWKK5. XWKK5 in my case. Um, the first two characters after the i9100 um, are not that important. So we can ignore the XW but what is important is the KK5 so we need to find a ROM version which closely matches that I will put a, a link in the description of where you can find the ROM which most matches the KK5 for yourself to download um, once you have that you're ready to rock um, to begin with you don't need your phone connected to the computer so I'm just going to disconnect it as it is there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to my computer uh, and we'll show you what to do next. Okay, now that we've moved over to the, over to the PC, what we need to do is download, I've already downloaded the uh, custom ROM, which was most matching the firmware of KK5, if you can remember that. Um, I've extracted the file onto my desktop here, and this is how it looks. Uh, as I say, I will put a link in, dis in the description of where you can download this file from. You can see there, uh, looking at the file name, that it's got KK5 uh, custom ROM number, or version number, should I say, um, which is the one exactly matching the firmware version that I have for Android Gingerbread 2.3.6. Um, so what we need to do next is, or oh, before we go any further, I'd just l like to let you know that this shouldn't wipe anything off the phone so you shouldn't have um, loss of contacts or apps or any settings or anything like that this just amends the firmware that we already installed in a previous video okay so um, but I would highly recommend before you do anything like this that you back up the phone using Samsung keys or any other third-party software software that you may have um, because I don't hold no responsibility for anything that may go wrong neither will Samsung um, so just to begin, uh, what we'll do, uh, the files, the tar files already extracted there, uh, we've got Odin just underneath, I will put a link in the description of where you can download this uh, uh, custom ROM from, um, so you can just download that as well as Odin 3 of course. So what we'll do is we'll run Odin 3 first, okay, so we'll right click on uh, Odin and run as administrator, just so that we've got uh, the highest privileges there. Um, what you need to do is make sure the phone isn't connected uh, at this moment in time as I unplugged it earlier otherwise this box there would be yellow um, we're leaving the repartition box unticked so it's empty you need to leave auto reboot and reset time on or should I say ticked and then all we're doing is we're leaving everything else empty apart from what it says PDA so 
So put a tick next to PDA and then navigate to um, the location or where you have the the custom ROM that we downloaded there. Uh, and then once you get to the custom ROM location, there's only one file there that it recognizes. So you select it, make sure it's the same one, KK5, yep, click open. It puts it in the correct location there. And then all we need to do is put the phone in um, download mode. <coughs> So if we just move over to the phone, and back on the phone, uh, we just need to turn the phone off. Um, so I'll just switch that off. Brilliant. Um, once it, it actually shuts down, what we need to do is put it in download mode. At the moment, the phone's not connected. So all we're going to be doing is holding down the volume down button, pressing the home button, and then pressing the power button all at the same time. And once it gets us into the menu, then we'll select uh, download mode. So that's now off. So all we do is press the volume down, press the home and the power together until it comes on. There we go, brings us a, a warning which says a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key, otherwise press the volume down key to cancel. Um, we know what we're doing, so we're pressing the volume up key. So we'll do the up key there. There we go in download mode now so it says downloading do not turn off target it's not connected to anything so it's not downloading all we do is connect up uh, the phone to the machine there we go that's now connected up so if we move back over to um, the PC moving back over to the computer you can see now that the the first communications box there is now yellow signaling that it has recognized the phone and you can see in the little message window it says added. So all we need to do now is click start. And you can see it's going through the process along the bottom right in the message window and on the phone. And on the phone you can see it's gone through the process really quickly. Going back to the uh, Odin, you can see it's done the pass. That happened really quick. It's finished. And the phone is now booting back up, you can see, with the the triangle with a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in the middle. We'll just wait for that to boot up. We can now actually disconnect from Odin. Uh, we can close that down because we're done with it now. There's nothing more to do. Once the phone's rebooted, you can see my my links are still there. If I go into my applications, you can see my folders are still there with all the apps inside of them. Everything's still working. Brilliant. On the application screen, you will see two additional new icons once the, the ROM process or the flash process of the ROM has been completed. Uh, so you've got root access. You can see there I've got CWM and Super User. I think the CWM is just a, a, a ROM manager and the Super User it gives you access. If I click on that first, it tells you what programs have root access. Um, at the moment I've got none. So if I, it says no apps in list if you can see that. If I scroll up it gives you a log there as well. I don't know quite what that is. I'll have to mess around with that. But if I come out of that, if we go into the custom ROM manager and it says super user request, the following app is requesting super user access. It gives you the app name, package, uh, requested UIDs, root. The reason why as well if you're wondering why it's called root access and not administrator access is because uh, Android is a bogged down version of the Linux operating system and Linux uh, is wording for administrator is root it's like master access kind of um, anyway going back to this uh, the CW manager super user request it says it's asking for admin access basically do you want to allow or deny uh, we'll say allow and to see if it gives it access and it says it's granted did you see that granted super user access um, and you can do various tasks with it there you can tell it tells you what custom ROM manager is running um, download mode you can reboot it it gives you backup stuff you can restore a backup delete backups uh, install applications um, obviously put a flash in a, another kernel on there you can flash the, the firmware again donate I would recommend that you donate to um, the person who's uh, uploaded this as without it you wouldn't have uh, access to uh, root uh, I have already incidentally um, so if we go back if I go in there again uh, you can see 
I'll just go back again so you can see it. Go back. So all I'm doing is clicking on that. You can see there it says CW has granted super user permissions. So I just wanted to show you that. The phone's now got root access. Any questions, do comment below. Um, if you uh, could, if you could click subscribe from the top. Um, so you can check out some of my forthcoming videos. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And you can check out what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. And good night.